Okay, here we go. So, why is it saying that? Okay, that's confusing. Right, hello. Okay, so, I just uploaded a video, at least a vlog, showing you this program. The, <clears throat> excuse me, I was having some big frustrations with the other one. So let's do this. I promised you a quick introduction to Moodle. So here it is. Welcome back to my channel, channel fellow teachers. And I'm going to, this is Moodle. I've logged into my Moodle. I will show you in time, I will show you the setup and how to create your own server and have your own personal Moodle. For the time being, I'm going to give you a very quick look around and give you some resources that you can use for learning Moodle by yourself a little bit. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me, the first thing, I'm just going to click on my um, on home over here and see the, um, when you install Moodle, it comes with Clean and Boost. It's two different themes. I installed another theme. It's called Adaptable if you want to check it out. One of the reasons why I chose Adaptable is because it's completely well adaptable. The color scheme is very easy to access. You don't have to know any special CSS or anything like that. The, you literally go and you click on the colors that you want. <clears throat> if you have codes for your colors, you can type them in as well. The other thing that I like about it is the fact that it displays the courses like this. I really like this a lot, a lot. That. Okay, moving on. On the screen, you get the option over here to these notifications. So if you have any notifications from things that happened in your course or things that need to be marked or uh, messages sent to you by students inside a course and that kind of thing, this is where you're going to find it. The other one is sending and receiving messages to your students or them sending messages to you, obviously. And that's going to happen on this little bubble over here, speech bubble over here. Then you can edit your profile, your own personal stuff. And I mean, this is pretty standard. You get a little picture of yourself and you click on it and it shows you your own personal stuff. So I can go to my dashboard, I can view my profile, I can edit my profile, I can see all of my grades. Um, I can, there's a couple of preferences that you can set and change and the calendar, so your specific calendar. Because I'm an admin, I can switch my role so that I can see things as though I'm a learner or as though I'm a teacher. But for the most part, you're probably not going to see something like that um, initially. Then <clears throat> over here is, this is the announcements. So the announcements, oh, it, it <laughs> flashed back to my homepage now, that's fine. So um, usually the admin have access to the announcements where they can write things, any sort of announcements that students need to be aware of. It flashes by very similar to when you are watching news at the bottom there, it runs information um, on a ribbon. So this is very much the same. The students can pause it to look at a specific announcement. Obviously, there's nothing there now. I want to quickly show you, no, I don't want to be on dashboard. I want to be on home. I'll show you, this is one of the courses. So this is the course that we are actually busy doing together. Give it a moment to wake up. So this is a... This is the skeleton. There's nothing in it yet. So all I did is I created a course and then you build in it and you populate it and you add everything that you need to add. I have over here the announcements. I like the announcements. It's a good place to give course specific information to all of the learners in the course. Why did my computer do that? Um, and then also it is a good place to encourage discussion about specific topics amongst your students. The other thing is I, if you in the course like this, this navigation bar is going to be visible to your students as well. They can look at their grades, they can look at their competencies and they can look at their badges. I'm a very big fan of badges. It takes time and patience to set them up, but badges brings a, a feeling of sort of game playing, game playing into the whole process. You can create badges for completing the profile. That's what I've done. It's, I'm going to actually quickly show you what it looks like. It's quite nice. Uh, let's see, view my profile. So this is the grade report. So if I'm a teacher, I see everybody's grades. If I'm a student, I only see my grades. Then the competencies. So there's competencies added per course 
Um, so basically the things that the learners need to achieve, you link them to the activities and it automatically generates a statement of results for you, which is fantastic. Then here's the um, adding badges. So you can create badges from here. You can create badges from a couple of different angles as well, but you can create them from here. I will show you badges. They're amazing. They are an amazing tool to use, especially if you're working with long distance students. Um, let's see here by more it shows my badge so this is my profile completion badge getting students to complete a profile is really hard so having a badge that they can receive as soon as they've completed it is a good way to encourage them to actually finish their profile because there's pertinent information in there especially if you're working with external accreditation bodies who need to do the certification for you making sure that all of your details for your students is correct is it's really, really important. Right, the other thing I wanted to show you is I'm going to just quickly, and I, I want to, let's just close this guy. It's just gonna make a confusion. I just want to show you, if you go to YouTube and you type in Moodle, right? Then here's the Moodle channel. The Moodle channel has an insane amount of information available to you to there's lots of short videos, long videos, discussions. There's literally hundreds of videos. Go and check out the information they have. You can also see over here just by typing in Moodle how much has popped up here that's not specifically Moodle um, created YouTube videos. And here is here's a 10 minute Moodle tutorial. So there's a lot of information available for setting up your Moodle. You just have to take the time to go and have a look at it. The other thing that I want to show you is at the bottom of any given page, you will see a, why is it being funny with me right now? There's a, oh, why is it doing that? Okay, wait, let's just go home and see if it fixes it there. Doesn't matter on which page you are. If you go to the very bottom of your, your screen, there's a little information. No, why is, why is it doing that? Wow, that is, that is frustrating. It's, it's my mouse, don't worry, it's not a thing. So here at the bottom, there's an information and then it says Moodle Docs for this page. Doesn't matter where you are, if you click on it, it's going to give you information about the specific page that you're on. So if you've added an, added an activity, it will give you information. If you're in the admin section, maybe in the plugin section, it will give you information specifically pertinent to that page that you are on. I've set mine so that it opens in a new window. I'll show you how to do that eventually. To because I like to be able to work on the page that I'm busy with and then just refer back to the information that is on the, on the Moodle site, on the docs site. The other thing that I encourage you to do is if you, um, Moodle, let's see where it is. Um, here's a article. I'll put this article in the description. It has a bunch, and I mean a bunch of, how many, it says like, okay, it doesn't actually say how many, but there is a bunch of sites that are built on Moodle. And what's really nice is you can go and see what other people are doing with their Moodle sites. All of the stuff that they're able to do is accessible to you. You just need to figure out how to do it. So you can go check it out. Here is Illinois something i'm not sure let's give my internet a moment to just wake up and smell the roses so here's learn at illinois this one it's it's pretty basic it's nice though um you can see at the bottom here it says that you're that that it's a moodle site and the site can't be reached then over here is the new jersey institute of technology moodle and here again so this one's also not so fantastic let's see if we can find a Example that's a little bit prettier. This one looks pretty. What are you? Learning fresh. And here's another one. This one looks really pretty. Oh, this one looks very nice. Love to go and scope out what the other people are doing. A lot of them actually have a guest access thing that you can go in and have a look. It's, I really, really like it. I think I need to cut the video short here. I don't want to make it too long. <laughs> it's one of the things I discussed in yesterday's vlog to just make sure that the videos are short enough for you to watch without, you know, it. oh, this is nice. It's, okay, well, this has just got a very nice picture. 
And then here is UMass Amherst. It's also slightly boring. This one's a little bit simpler. This one looks straight up like, okay, this is where I was. This is what I wanted to check. Ah, oh, this one's very boring. Okay, but anyway, my point is, is you'll find Moodle sites. And most of them are pretty open about the fact that they have a Moodle site. So you can go and check it out and just go, go steal. There's, there's amazing information out there. Go, go and have a look at it. Right, so that being said, I will start with the next episode and we're going to start with the first unit standard. So now we've met each other. Well, at least you've met me. I think I've had one comment from my mother, but I mean, that's expected. Um, the, so I'm going to start on how to set up specifically SACWA and QCTO courses onto the um, Moodle site so that it doesn't cause problems with verification and external moderation because those are the biggest factors is making sure that the outside people that are looking at your stuff sees all of the information that they are used to seeing in a paper portfolio. Right, so thank you very much for watching and I will definitely see you again.